Hello programmers, if you are using print to debug your code and it sometimes confuses you, you have clicked on the right video. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a print alternative that makes your debugging easier. So, let's get started. Alright, in the intro I mentioned that prints could be confusing sometimes. For example, in this piece of code, we are printing the user weight and user height. And this is what we get in the terminal. Wait, what? What are these? Which one is the weight and which one is the height of user? Alright, alright, I was just acting, I'm not that stupid. By just taking a fast look at this simple code, you can easily figure out that the first one is the user weight and the second one is user height. But would it still be easy if our code was thousands of lines and we had to use the print statement several times? Well, according to my experience, nope. But hey, what if we give each print statement and string defining what is this that we are printing? Yes, that's a good idea. Now we know that the first one is user weight and the second one is the user height. But isn't it a bit time consuming to give every single print statement a message? So what should we do? Well, the answer is ice cream. Yep, just go ahead to your terminal and install it by using the pip install command. Then import ic from ice cream and now let's replace the prints with ic, like ic, did you get it? And if we run the program, this is what we get. First it tells us that these things are printed by IC and it tells us what variable we are printing to the terminal and then its value and it's even more colorful. How cool is that? Now let's try it for something different like printing a python function. So here we still have the user weight and height variables and I've added a function as well called calculate BMI. It needs us to pass it these two arguments and then it calculates our user BMI and return it. Now let's run and print out our calculate BMI function and this is the result we get. But now let's replace the print statement with IC and see what we get. Now that's a lot better. Cause besides the actual result we wanted, it tells us what function returned this value and what we gave it as arguments. Now let's change the code a bit to show you something else. So now we have a bunch of if conditions that chooses underweight, normal or overweight as the result depending on the BMI number. So one cool thing we can do here is to just put empty IC methods to see which of these conditions was true and gave the result a value. So this is what we get when we put an empty IC method. It gives us the name of the file, then the line and in what function it was and also the exact date and time. And that's it. Hope you find this video useful and if you did, give it a thumbs up and I guess bye. bye.